good hate mail too while you're at it. Hi everybody and oh. welcome to another exciting edition of the SoCal Prep Report. Rich Stray here along with Bob Gibson and Randy Rosenwood. We're happy you joined us. No Carlos Pena today, no, no Chris Ricks today. Everybody's out partying, man. They make us work, but everybody else out having a good time. And that's okay because we are now at the pinnacle of the prep sports football season. That's right, my friends. We're talking about the state playoffs. We had semifinal action. Basically, you could call it a semifinal, but it was the only playoff. They have one playoff game, and if you're lucky enough, you win it. You get to go up north or come down Not south. even in the open. The open, you, nope. you, you won and you're in. So yep. you don't even have to play another game to get, yes, to get in the sir, open. Hey, the right. only thing that matters here is that the city's got two teams in state championship games. That's and the only one of them's thing that really not, card, not, not called Narbonne. That's How about true. That? Surprise or Garfield so. for yeah, or Garfield, that's true. Yeah, Garfield was breaking that mold. No for Crenshaw everybody. either. No Crenshaw. All right, but let's they won get, it a couple years ago. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Let's get into it, my friends, and let's take a look. Now we're gonna take a look at the scoreboard for uh, last week, and we'll see up there in the one AA division. It was Sierra Canyon over Helix. You know they've been queuing us for about a half hour on this graphic here, Bob. I know. <laughs> look at the graphic, you guys, please. You okay, guys, there you, it is. You guys just ignore everything. S I knew having Randy up here from the start was going to just. <laughs> I threw off on the us. timing of the, the whole show. thing. Well, Randy, we started the show. We had to sit there and talk about you know Lincoln. If there's any, if there's any <laughs> bigger evidence that Sierra Canyon needs to be an open division or there Division One, whatever team makes over year, Helix, this is it. Helix, one of the top programs, if not the top program, uh, in the San Diego section. Obviously, you can argue uh, Cathedral Catholic uh, over down there as well. But uh, you go ahead and argue. I'm not. So like Sierra Canyon I, I think handled Helix, Helix pretty good here. Uh, you know, winning 38 to 20, and I'd Sierra Canyon now, easily. This program. Wait, wait a minute. Before we get into the state oh, thing, right, Bob, right. I want to point one thing out. This is an upset. Helix was supposed to win this well, game. Of the ten state ten playoff games, to. the semis last week in the southern in the southern region alone, seven of the ten games were upsets, Bob. And well, we're going to get into that in just a minute. Randy, you say what? I say John Ellinghouse is a terrific coach for Sierra Canyon. He's all right. He's Come on, he's not Lombardi. Program. He's not Belichick. He's already won a state <laughs> title. He nearly yes, won a second yes. one. He doesn't cheat. He's been he there a long time. He wins football games. <laughs> he's still young, though. I think he's still in his 30s. And Randy? you beat a Helix team who's a very entertaining, very fantastic offensive him, football team. Here's the thing about Ellinghouse, too, is that everyone kept saying, when's he going to leave? When's he going to leave and go leaving. to a bigger part to the Trinity or somewhere? He, he ain't leaving. Need to leave. Why would he leave? Sierra Canyon is a Trinity League uh, equal team now. They're here. Sierra Canyon is here to stay. So all right. got resources. No, yeah, Sierra no Canyon. guys got that. Get off Sierra Canyon. Let's all get right. on to another big enough, game. Enough Oceanside. basketball stuff to talk about that. Too. And Corona Del Mar. Now, oh, remember Oceanside? This was a fun game. Was the school? They had the coach that had the all-time winning. This uh, beat Ansich oh, yeah. finally. Oh yeah. Anyways, Corona Del Mar 14-7 Oceanside. That is kind of an upset. Oh, uh, Corona Del Mar was supposed to win that game going away. And Bob, this game came all the way down to one play at the end of the game, and here it is. And here it is right here. Watch the linebacker slip off right here and make this hit. Just bury his face mask Bang. right into the number seven. On fourth and three. Stop him <laughs> at the one-yard line. And Corona Del Mar moves on. Look, CDM has not really been tested all season long, right? The Sea Kings running up big point totals. Even a week ago, they exercised their demons from a year ago in a big win uh, to win the CIF championship. So to go 0-0 deep into the third quarter and then down 7 nothing, come back and score a couple of touchdowns, they fumbled away a chance to run out the clock there at the end of the game, gave the ball back to Oceanside, and then to come back and really great. dig down. They were, John Humphreys was out with a hamstring injury early in the game. Bob, Everything going against CDM. You will not see. And they see. dug down. My guys got it done, and they will play for a state title. Ethan Garbers may be nope. the best quarterback around. The guy is terrific. We're not even talking CDM. about him, though, Randy. We're talking about that play, the play we just oh, saw wow. with the linebacker. Well, they you won the game with defense. Finer, you will not see a finer defensive no. play anywhere this season You're than that play right there because right. It, was a, it was at the biggest point in the game. No time left. Uh, they're on the goal line, sure. and they were out. You saw how close that was for the – him the, go, the running back going in. Look, you you love linebackers who just make instinctive plays. What do you do? He made an instinctive uh, play. Bam, the perfect regardless, tackle. Yep. You work all year long to make that kind of a tackle to save your team's now, season. Right yeah, there. regardless of, of what happened during the game, I mean, that was a great defensive battle. And to see that play at the end of a game when everybody's tired, everybody's burned out, man, bruised up. And to see that kind of play, yeah. that just says a lot. Randy, your point about the quarterback? Well, the quarterback was great. It was great all year. But to win a dogfight, yeah. they yeah. had not been in that kind of game That's all season said, long. Right. Nope. And that toughness, that championship pedigree came out when it counted most. 
Give CDM all the credit well, in the world. That's what they get for playing uh, teams like, um, you know, Grace Brethren, twice in the finals now. They lost last year. They came back and avenged it. And look how strong they played in that state uh, playoff game. And now they got, well, we'll talk yeah. about what they're going to do in but a little the, bit. But my final point about CDM, this is yes. why they're the best public school program in the entire oh, state. Oh, we're going to debate that the later. Mission Viejo saying it. Corona saying it. Narbonne saying it. Not Centennial this year. Maybe in other years, not this year, Huskies. This year, it's the Sea Kings. San Juan Sorry. Hills, Aquinas, Aquinas, however you want to say it. Uh, another game. San Juan Hills was favored big in this ball game, yeah. but look, you got to play the games, my friends. No, it's you got to play them. Look, San Juan Hills had never been even to the CIF championship. Never been this deep in. Maybe they got a little in over their heads. I'm not sure. It was a very good football team and a pretty good game here. But Aquinas just keeps winning football games. And so why don't we going to finally say, you know what? This Aquinas team's doing some special things. Maybe they deserve our attention now, right? It's Aquinas. Like really you could say Aquinas, no, I mean, baby. Aquinas has you know. had a big time year. You're on the big stage. Give Aquinas. them all the credit in the world. They outplayed San Juan Hills <laughs> yeah. and Bob, beat them by a couple touchdowns. The Vegas line had San Juan Hills winning this game. You can't argue I with saw Vegas, that. my friend. I saw that. All right, let's move on. Take a look at the next division and see uh, how people fared uh, the other night. I don't know what they're putting up, man, all right? We're at the oh, beginning. Oh, do I have to Here look at this? Yeah, Pacifica, Randy, you need to look Birmingham. at this one. Randy, and, end, of the talk line, about end of the line for Jim Rose and, and, and his Birmingham Patriots, No, a young football you know? team. They actually had a 7 nothing lead in this game. And unfortunately, Pacifica went on a tremendous run. Yeah. I think scored like 38 points in a row and never looked back. Pacifica from Oxnard made the 42-mile trek into the valley and played at Lake Balboa. But really, Birmingham and Jim Rose, great credit for winning the upper division, the open division in the L.A. City section. Young football team. Uh, he will lose Mason White, a true leader for the football team. But this Birmingham squad is going to be great next year, and they'll be the favorite to win the well, LA City section. Randy, we'll see about that. I don't know. Their window of opportunity might have closed after this year because the youth movement is the way to go. Look what uh, uh, Ed Crozen did over yeah. at uh, Chaminade, man. He had he started 15 freshmen. Yeah, but Ed Crozen still helps out over at Birmingham. That's his best buddy over there, Jim ha. Rose. And remember, well, it was Crozen that got that program He going. taught him that. He taught go for the youth movement yeah. there. All right, El Camino, Oceanside, 34-18 over Temecula Valley. Another upset. Temecula Valley is supposed to win this game by at least a field goal. Hey, man, El Camino, everybody knows their story. Great program going on to the state finals. But I think El Camino, I think of the great boys basketball program down there all the time. But uh, here they go. They, they can play for a football title now. All right, continuing on, take a look at Division 3A, Sunny Hills. It finally ended yeah. for him, man. Bakersfield Christian put him down 42-21. Sunny Hills had a great season, Bob. You can't deny. No, they did, and, and they had some great athletes out there at Sunny Hills. I hope they can build on this. I hope I hope some kids that are maybe in that area look at Sunny Hills now as maybe a school they want to go to and, and play football. I would like to see that continue on there. David Carr, Derek Carr, Bakersfield, Bakersfield Christian, Christian yes. fabulous football program. No doubt Randy just that. hates on Sunny Hills. I don't know why. That's just <laughs> what it is. He, just, to like, do with he that. just likes to bring up the Fresno guys. Uh, yeah. hey, I, I, gets, yeah, you know? I'm a bulldog. <laughs> We're giving him a bad time. All right, Highland. This is uh, Carlos Pena's territory. Highland yeah. and Palmdale going to the finals. They defeated Selma 42-29. Uh, to 29. Selma, of course, of San Diego. No big deal there, Bob. That's 4AA right there. There it is. All right, moving on. Uh, outside of Highland, we move on to... And uh, it'll be coming That's up here in a minute, Bob. Here. Yeah. yeah. Keep pointing to the graphics. All right, Marina La Jolla ballgame, Bob. This was an interesting game because... Let's be, we talked about it last week. You know, Marina's not really known as a football school. No. Uh, as you know, Bob, you covered Orange County for yeah. many years. And, uh, I, you know, I just don't remember much about Marina being a powerhouse. No. But they finally got, got things going this year uh, with the way the situation, the leagues. You know, you can you could be in your league, but when you go to the playoffs, you could be in a totally different divisions, which helps out a lot with some of these schools. That really helped Marina. La Jolla, though, man, 27-14 ended Marina's hopes of getting to the state. But congratulations to Marina, a CIF champion this yep. year. You could not ever take that away and get out of that Sunset League. Man. Somebody I will, but yeah, yeah. For Marina, that's they can play now. All right, interesting ball game here. El Monte against uh, defeated Sarah of San Diego, and again, Almani was uh, favored in this game. Not they didn't weren't favored to win by this much, but who cares? Almani goes to the state. Congratulations, uh, the coach Cincinnatos, uh, getting his team there. Almani, Bob, a small, tiny school. Uh, up in the North San Gabriel Valley area. I love that they get a chance to play for a state champion. They didn't get to yeah. play for a CIF championship. Mm -hmm. They got the CIF title. They didn't get to win it on the field, though. They get a chance to win a state title on the field. Now. And look at Randy. Randy's going to yeah. explode right now. He's exploding. <laughs> Alonzo Areola, 14 years of excellence as the head coach, gets his fourth straight double-digit season. Merry Christmas, Wins coach. a city championship. 
dominates Esperanza. Mario Martinez, a touchdown receiving, a pick six on defense. Martinez is great. Jernell Rhodes is terrific, too. The best wide receivers anywhere playing for the Regents. And they got the quarterback to throw it in Trent Butler. That's a good football team. I think they're going to win the state title. I didn't hear you guys talking much about Rasita during the season, fellas. What? Oh, I talked uh, about Rasita all that's, season long. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Randy's territory. I've right. been a Regent. Right. Oh, that's right. I was thinking about the, the other show, Bob. That, that's because you were too busy talking about Canoga Park. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this score. 47-28. South Torrance <clears throat> gets to move on. One of the Torrance schools were going to get in. Every school was in the playoffs. But uh, South Torrance over Canoga Park. What do you got to say, Randy? Well, Kevin Carlson has built the Canoga Park Hunter program. It was a powerful program way back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, this is a, you know, a great accomplishment to get as far as they did. Uh, they've had some good players there. George Hernandez, the running back this year, had 200 yards in that game and a couple touchdowns. Uh, they're just a fine football team, but they just ran into a better opponent. They couldn't stop South Torrance. So Canoga Park put up enough points, but their defense could not handle a balanced South Torrance attack, and they never had a chance. Can, can you build on this now? Can Canoga Park become a team that's year I after think year so. I mean, Carlson's really a good coach. He's been there two right. years, and both seasons they've been very strong. They went further this year, obviously won a city title, but last year they had close to double digits in victories right. as well. So Kevin Carlson immediately turned it around, and it started last year in its first game with a big upset win at Grant in the Valley. And here All we right. go. Gar Gardena, Gardena over Francis Parker. Now, I know Francis Parker. Frank very, Parker. Very nice gentleman. Right. Uh, but they couldn't handle Gardena 27-13. That's a good host letting the other team win, Bob. Not very nice of them. Nice, nice of Gardena to go and get that nice, easy victory. There. Again, here's a school <laughs> in Gardena that in the 60s was mm -hmm. terrific. Out of the Marine League. They came on strong. They, they were humbled a little bit in league play, playing the likes of Narbonne, Carson, San Pedro, and Matt Ilk and Banning. But once they got out of the Marine League, they took off. Uh, they just did a terrific job there. Uh, Jim McElroy changed the culture of the program. Mm -hmm. I think Gardena, and you're seeing it across the board in all their sports, their basketball team is going to be very good this year and as, uh, as off to a good start already. But this Gardena program, this is good to see. It'll be interesting next year to see how they do in the Marine League with what they've done and what they've accomplished this year to go this far. All right, Randy. Sounds like an open division. I thought oh, we are talking like about that. the national champ oh, right now. Oh, hey, that's Lord. seven double A. Like that. That's right. Marine League, baby. Holy moly. All right. Now that we've seen pretty much all the participants, now we're going to take a look at uh, the state finals, right? Do we have anybody left? Here we go. We're going oh, to start with the division one. Okay, we'll I thought we would end with this, but no, we'll start with the open division start today. There. Uh, 8 o'clock Saturday, uh, the 14th. We were here there last year. We didn't get out of it until like 3 in the morning after right, doing the yeah. show. It was, Felt like it. It we was froze, zero. too. You know, we, yeah, it was, it was 12 degrees. All I remember is every, watching you guys talking, just watching a, a cloud of smoke in front right. of you, like you're vaping or something. Well, you know? that's, so when cold. I got my teeth to stop chattering, we could talk about the, yeah. the game a year ago. All right, open division. This is this this has been done before. De La Salle Bosco, De La Salle Modern Day, De La Salle Corona Centennial, De La Salle Canyon Country. De La Salle, Santa Margarita, De La Salle, anybody in Southern California, it's always De La Salle in the open division. Everybody bitches at St. John Bosco and Modern Day, blah, 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 and so how come nobody's bitching about De La Salle every because year in Northern California? up in the Bay Area, you don't have 50 parochial schools within 30 miles of each other. You just have De La You have Salle. one big one, and it's yeah. De La Salle in Concord, California. Yep. They get St. John Bosco. I, I just have a feeling that this is just all a formality. Whether De La Salle meant Modern Day, Bosco, Centennial, I'll go as far as to say Mission Viejo, they would probably get beat. They probably would. The so, saying, Southern California football is, is a step above Northern California Different football. monster. Well, what together. happened was De La Salle was better than everyone for so long, yeah. but then Modern Day and St. John Bosco up the ante. Their programs got so strong. Now when De La Salle comes down, they continually get beat. It's right. a different story. It is yeah. indeed. All right, moving on, Sierra Canyon, uh, taking on Central of Fresno. Two high-powered teams, man. This is going to be Sierra Canyon's 16th game? Really? Yeah, 16th 16? game. 16? Are yep. you serious? Yep. Are they allowed that many by state? They are now. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of they teams have played hey, Wow. Teams you, you want a state championship now in football? You got it. St. John Bosco a few years ago went 16 and up. Yep. I don't know about that, man. Anyways, big game here. We talked a lot about Sierra Canyon. We'll see what happens in that ball game. Rand, I'm surprised you didn't open up about Fresno and tell them Well, we all know all that the, the Fresno teams are going to win. The 16th game for Corona Del Mar as well. Yeah, you're right. Corona Del Mar 15-0 taking on Sarah of San Diego. This is the Vision 1 final, 1A, Saturday, December 14th, 4 o'clock at Cerritos College, Bob. Now, considering CDM lost their last game a year ago, they're on a 15-game winning streak. 
this year. It's, it's really going to be something. I, I, I like CDM here, obviously. I've liked them all year long. I've told you they're the number one team, clearly, that's not named Modern Day or St. John Bosco. You think they can beat Reseda? It'd be a tough game. It's Birmingham? A game. It's Birmingham. Birmingham. <laughs> they knew Randy would love it. All right. Uh, here we, are we doing Aquinas again? Athenas, yeah. Aquinas, whatever you want Aquinas. to call it. Just save the mail. What there you see it. You know who they are. Clayton, Clayton Valley, Valley Charter. Charter. Where is that? I don't know. They're up north, and I'll tell you this. They they're can up really north. Run that we know. They could run the football. They well, they're, they're favored to win. They're, they're, they're favored to win the game. A few, years ago, yeah, a few years ago, they came down for a state game, and guess who they lost to? Narbonne. Well, this is interesting. Well, how many times do you see two lost team and a three lost team playing for a state title? You'll see every year, I see it every year. Yeah, all right, no, I've never Clayton seen Valley it does not throw the football, right. but they'll run it down your throat, and you, I think they win. Usually, the game. if it's like that, they had to forfeit a few games along the way, Bob. Well, McClymans is back. I yeah, they are. From a year ago, McClymans. All right, I'd call it uh, McClemens. Whatever you want to call I, it, I man. Care. Some say a potato, potato, McClymans, McClemens. They're whatever. defeated and only played eleven games. Well, yes. I don't know about that eleven. Well, Pacific game. is ah. going to play their sixteenth game. Yeah. Also, right. right? Yeah. I'm not, not happy bad, with Pacific. them. They knocked off Birmingham. Well, McClymans has got fresh legs, only playing eleven. Think so? I, I bet you they're fresher than Pacifica. We'll see. You're they're going to have to dig down. Pacifica's going to have to You're dig wild, down. Bob. That's a very good point, Bob. Hey, you know. El Camino. Look at now. Oceanside's got six Hard losses, there, Bob. But they played Modern Day, Bosco. <laughs> they played Centennial. They played Mission. I mean, they had some games. Nine and six. I love that. God Car bless El Camino getting in. Cardinal there. Newman, though. Let's hold this graphic for a minute. Cardinal Newman is like the big dog. Uh, so we're going to see what happens with Cardinal Newman. Was that where the... Uh, the boys went, uh, the, the two Brooks brothers in the NBA. I remember going up oh, there and seeing yeah, those guys. Yeah, 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 but anyways, right. uh, that's a big-time school. El Camino's got their hands full in this game, as Cardinal Newman's 13-1 and one, uh, record would indicate. So yeah, That's right. Cardinal God, the Newman. Brooks guys were huge. We saw those in a high, tournament right? in high school. I couldn't believe the size that's of those guys. Right. They were really juniors, man. All right, Bakersfield Christian taking on Rancho Cotate. Hmm, that's a good one. Or you can call it Cotate, whatever you want to call it. But anyways. <laughs> Cotate? Well, you know. Everybody, Cotate, Everybody yeah. has their dialect here. Bakersfield Chris, 11-3, taking them on. Uh, man, I don't know anything about either one of these schools. Randy, you're closer up there when you go to Fresno games. What do you think about Bakersfield Chris? Well, again, they, they have got a terrific a shot. program. Of course they got a shot. Right. They, they always score a lot of points. I know that. I know nothing about Rancho Cotate. I'm going with Bakersfield Christian because it's closer to Fresno. Very good. Got to like Bakersfield. It's where Frank Gifford came from. Yeah, he did. Frank Gifford. Is that where he's from, Bob? Yeah, yeah he went to Bakersfield, Bakersfield High School. Bakersfield High School. And where did Jackie Robinson Bakersfield go, Bob? Uh, uh, that is uh, John Muir. All right. Thank I'm still going to post that video with you guys in line up. <laughs> thing. I, I held on on purpose. When things get slow, we're going to run that stuff. Uh, Highland, Palmdale, 12 and 3, going up against Rapone, or the Great Poupon. But, anyways, they're 13 and 1. Somebody up north, I've never even heard of this school, Bob. I cannot no, give some you of these anything schools, on it. Yeah, we don't Sorry, know much man. about but uh, A lot Highland, going on today to be it, researching no, this Highland, stuff. Highland's got to win this one so our fearless correspondent up there can get a championship. Our esteemed right? colleague. He's been looking for this. He's been bragging a lot, but nothing ever happens. right now. I guarantee you it's cold up there right now. He has no clue. He's coaching soccer, isn't he? He is indeed. Very La Jolla, good. San Diego, of course, taking on Escalon. I mean, you guys all know Escalon, man. They're bad. They're, I mean, bad as in good bad. bad right. Yeah, those bad guys are bone, tough right? up there, man. Good defensive squad. La Jolla's got their hands full on that one. Now, watch them get blown the out. Team, watch right? Escalon get blown <laughs> out this week, man. <laughs> All right. This is the one everybody wants to see. <laughs> I like that graphic. Almonte, 11 and 2, taking on Del Norte of Crescent City. Um, anyways, look at Almonte. They're going to travel over 700 miles just How'd to get there. Is that a bus, Larry? They taking a bus? They, no, they're not taking the me? train. Randy, could you oh. hook them up with the train from I Larry? Tried, you know. Larry, you were supposed to start the GoFundMe I so we could get them some plane tickets <laughs> yeah. and fly them up there. I have there. contacts oh, with Pacific Surfliner. Right, that's it. We could have put them on the train. These Pacific Surfliner. We could have got them right down Randy, there. Randy, could have put them on the train, for yeah. God's sakes. Well, anyways. Wow, bus over 700 miles. That's so a look. long way. Hey, you know Elmani, as you see, are going to travel 700 miles plus. Um, not a big deal, really, guys. It's, it's, it's today. You, got, you're not, you, know, you better it's like the, the guy sitting next to you on the voice. bus because you got to look at him for a long time. <laughs> El Monte will win this hours. game. Are they 11? Yes, I they thought will. they were undefeated. No, Del Norte's undefeated. Now, Monty's not undefeated. Who, uh, who beat him? Uh, yeah. Almonte's El Monte's undefeated. undefeated. Somebody undefeated. better check that graphic. Is not I don't want to get no calls from El Monte. But anyways, I think Almonte's undefeated, my friends. I agree with you. I think they'll fix the graph. They're going to tear it they'll up. They'll fix that. All right. Uh -huh, here we go. All right. Now no look. question. It's the Regents. It's fixed, On Randy. the road. It's fixed. Milpitas 8-6. and six, And they had to win a playoff game to win here and win CIF. So 
They might have been six and six when this. Actually, probably had a losing record when this. At the started. beginning of the year, we knew Reseda would win Look a state this. title. Your Belinda High School, nowhere near wow. Reseda or Milpitas. Yeah, what's up? I with thought that? the game was at Milpitas. That's what I was under the impression. Well, I don't a, know that it's at your Belinda. I think be. it's at Milpitas. Either way, I like Reseda to win the football game. <laughs> what's up? All right, oh, all right. All right. We'll fix it. I like that. So, so we need yeah. to explain that like we're it. seeing graphics that don't end up They're on the finished right. show. Not well, they change them. What are you talking about? This is the finished show, Randy. Yeah, your mind. <laughs> no, well, yeah, we're finished. Are you how crazy? About, how about St. Bernard's? Why don't you just tell us we do this thing in sections, man? All right. <laughs> all right. Torrance again, 11 and 4 against St. Bernard's or Bernard's. Uh, by the way, this is St. Bernard's of way up north somewhere, not the one in Playa del Rey. Lest anybody think differently, that ain't what's happening here, okay? Uh, South Torrance, again, 11 and 4, great ball club. I mean, they went through the whole Torrance Gauntlet, Bob. They deserve to be here. If you live in England, it's Bernard. If you live in America, it's Bernard. And Nash can on. really throw the football for that football team at South Torrance. Now, Bobby, really I mean, good. John, uh, John, is, uh, Randy, is this where you're going to throw in your, your uh, Lincoln uh, quote here? <laughs> I'm not going there. Gardena beat Lincoln of Los Angeles in the city section semifinals, so it's an opportunity for them to beat Lincoln again. Is that where OJ went to high school? No. All right, good. He went to San Francisco City College. I'm not sure where oh. he went to high school. All right. well, I think it was Galilea, actually, something like oh, that. Oh, okay. I think it was Galilea. Gardena. 11 and 4. I like Gardena. I thought he went to John Muir. <laughs> no. With Jackie Robinson? No, he didn't go with Jackie. All right. <laughs> How many people talk about O.J. Simpson now? But no, not many. That's, a, that's You brought that up? Not many. Well, not he's out me, of jail man. now. Yeah, okay. He's on Twitter an awful lot. All I right. See that. Is All he right. following you? No. no you guys are going off the rails right now. I don't want to deal with the fallout of talking about O.J. Simpson on this show right now. I just now. thought maybe that's where you'd gone yes. to high school. All right, listen. Uh, been a great football season. We will get in in the ensuing weeks, and we'll start talking about some of the all-stars, some of the great things that happened during the season. It's impossible to do it when you're dealing with like six or 700 high schools during football yeah, season and really get involved. Now, Randy, I know you like to throw out stats during the, the L.A. City section, but... It's a pretty small pool compared to the Southern section, so that's why we don't talk about little Johnny Johnson or, or, or Billy Ray catching the big pass to win the touchdown and have the big stats. Hard we to do, do it, not man. have time right now, so forgive us for that, but we'll have our own all. Uh, we're not going to call Seattle. We're going to have our own SoCal yeah, right. Prep Report team that we'll put out there, and that will be the real team. So since I'm in the city, do you want me to start naming off some of the players? Not right now. Well, you, Man, you, you what are you doing? Your, you make your list, and then we'll present. Yeah, and we'll, you know, okay. we don't, we make don't, your list, we don't and we'll check those, it twice. Those Southern section lists, we really don't trust those. Drenell we make Rhodes our own. We're the ones. Is just We're the ones that make the actual Drenell list. Rhodes has had a fabulous year for Reseda. Anyways, right. that's what's going on. Now, let's talk about basketball, because we're going to have some basketball previews coming up pretty soon. Yeah, Randy, get in your spot, man. I'm, I, I'm moving. I like Bob. I just kind of slide over toward Bob. I'm going to say right now, there's no question that Sierra Canyon will win not only the CIF championship this year. I know no, you're modern-day heavy over here with you guys, it. but they will win the national championship as well. <laughs> and half of their superstars probably won't even play most of the season. We haven't seen That's Zaire how good they yet. are. Zaire Williams has not suited up. <laughs> there you yet. go. What Maybe on the 29th. That's what uh, So what did you said. see? Who did you see uh, calling basketball this week? Who Maybe? did I see? Yeah. I didn't go to a game. I've been at football games. Oh, you I'm going to some basketball games this that's week. That's what you're doing. So who are you okay. calling this week? I got Rancho Christian there, on That's Saturday. what I want you to talk about. Okay, Rancho they got Christian. Evan Mobley, the center. He's right. seven feet. Going to USC, arguably the best player in the country. Say, he, he, the probably best player, he probably is. He probably is. Yeah, I wouldn't argue with that. It's hard to say because his numbers. Certainly he usually the best player scores, in Southern California. Yeah, he scores 20, 25 points a game, gets 15, 20 rebounds, and normally Rancho Christian dominates. I'm also going to go to the Fairfax Westchester game. I'm doing that for another entity. The Pacific Surf Lantern game of the week on Friday night is at Westchester. And Westchester's lost a couple games. Fairfax under Reggie Morris Jr. is 5-0. and they got a young man by the name of Keith Dinwiddie. He's had a, a big game already this year, over 30 points. He scored 34 in a game last year against Westchester with 7-3. So that's the game I'm going to this week. So Fairfax, Westchester on Friday. And then I have Rancho Christian. I'm going to see them against a great team from Nevada, Liberty. Give me Liberty. How fortunate is Fairfax to get a coach like Reggie Morris to come to their school and, and coach them? After they've had really good coaches over they the have. years at Fairfax. Well, replaces, you know, Bake, who Bake, replaced right. Katani. Katani, right. Katani won saying. almost 800 games We've there. had great coaches there. And, still and now they got another one. Reggie Morris has won a state title. Yes, he has. He won it at Redondo in 2013. Here's a simple fact for you. He's the Late only on father-son act where they both won the state championship. His dad, Reggie Morris mm -hmm. Sr., won it in 1988 at Manual Arts in the city section. They won the state, state title. Reggie Morris Jr. 
won it at Redondo in 2013. Nobody else has done that. Huh? It's never been done. Wow. Father, son, only ones to do That's it. That's something. So a big tournament out in Arizona this last week for the West Coast, West Coast Hoops, right. whatever, but Sierra Canyon ran through the competition, but that's not the story. The story was Henry Bibby Jr., the one that left Shadow Mountain after winning four successive state championships, goes to Hillcrest. Now, Hillcrest, one of the top teams in the country. Matter of fact, they are rated as having the top talent over teams like Sierra Canyon and Modern Day, mm -hmm. having the top talent in the country. So, I mean, here we go. Uh, Sierra Canyon ran through all those guys, and after they beat Hillcrest handily, and Hillcrest had whipped everybody in Arizona, whipped everybody in the tournament, Bibby quit. Yeah, that's right. I saw that, right? He quit. <laughs> he just decided. Seriously? He's done. And this is Arizona we're talking this about. This is the Henry Bibby that played for Henry Bibby Jr., yes. Mike no, no, Mike the Bibby. son, his son. Sorry, Mike Bibby, the son. Mike Bibby, I'm sorry. Mike Bibby. Okay. Mike Bibby. Yeah, Mike Bibby. Henry. Henry Bibby's kid, right? Okay. Mike yeah. Bibby. Who played in the NBA? I watched yeah, Henry Bibby yeah, at UCLA. Right, no, Mike Bibby, right. But, you know, that's how tough it is today to coach. I mean, I don't know if he was pressured to get out. I don't know if there was some personality conflicts. I don't know what the parents' situation is like. Are they running the team like a lot of teams out here do? What's going on? How could you let a guy like that go? A guy who's won four state titles in the big division in the state of Arizona get moved on after two games. He was one and one. And so what if you lose the tournament and get your butt kicked by probably the best team in America? One thing, and I, you, you'll both attest to this, uh, one thing you've seen out here is the coaches do not get run by the parents or the boosters in this area. All the great uh, coach, Ed Azam, that's mm -hmm. his program. Uh, Harvey Katani, that was his program. Yeah, it was. Oh, but nobody told those guys what to do or what players to play. And I see the same thing with Andre Chevalier at Sierra Canyon. No one's going to tell him, hey, Bronny James has got to be in this many minutes. Yeah. I don't care, LeBron James, whatever. He, Andre's going to run his program no way. Now, Bronny's a great player. He'll see his time. But nobody's going to tell Andre Chevalier how to run. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on in the other area, but I know here in Southern California, that these coaches, they're strong, right? They, they, they've run their programs. Nobody's, nobody's uh, puppeteering any of the coaches Well, here. Andre's well-respected. He played in the San Fernando Valley in the city section, had a great career at Cal State Northridge. He's won wherever he's gone, Absolutely. Oaks Christian, Cleveland High School, now where he is now at Sierra Canyon. And Bronny's only a ninth grader, so yeah. they he's understand. Oh, he can play, he, but he's, you're right. He's, he's going to have his time. With all there that are talent great there. players there, Zaire Wade. And you can go on and on. There's terrific talent there. But Andre's got great respect. Yep. By the way, he's won two state championships right. in a row. So right. how can you argue with what he's doing? He's getting it done the right way. Yeah, yeah, By the way, you brought up the name Ed Azam. Ed is mellowed. I've been dealing with Ed all week. He's a soft-spoken super guy. <laughs> Just won his 900th career game. Yeah. Wow. He's the winningest coach in the history of the L.A. City section. Hats off. A shout-out for Ed Azam. Did that just happen, 40th Randy? 40th year. Did that just happen? First game of the year when he won. Yeah. Won his 900. 900. He's, he's wow. got 901 as we speak right now. Him and Katani, man, those guys have some legacies. Oh, oh yeah. That's the well, they grew up together. You know they were buddies. They went to school together. No. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know no, that. Oh, story. yeah. They were, they were <laughs> tight. So they coached that's against something. him, but they went to school together, and they're good friends. And so, I, you know, that had to be tough for those guys throughout the years because it was a unbelievable rivalry with Fairfax and Westchester, but they were very close. Did either one play? building another program again. Is yeah, Rolling Hill. But did either oh, yeah. one have any, have any, did they play basketball? Did they have any experience? I think they played high school basketball. I think that's about it. I mean, wow. Katani and Azam are, those just, are basketball Can you imagine coaches. that? You got, you're on the same players. team that's and your something. coach, you're both successful. Right, and yeah. now they got 7,000 wins between the two of them. Oh, in God. the same <laughs> section, that's a small one? That's, yeah. that's pretty incredible. That's pretty yeah. cool. All right, we'll have to tap into that that's a little bit later stuff. on, Randy. Good stuff, exactly. Thank you. All right, that's going to be it, man. Uh, we may or may not come <laughs> from the state <laughs> finals. If it's below 50, I ain't going. Right? So if you see us in the studio next week, it's because it was below 50 degrees. Even if it's 51, I ain't sure. 49 and a half. Way warmer in here. Yes, we like it here. All right, that's it for this week, man. We hope you didn't traumatize anybody. We gave up misinformation. We apologize ahead of time. You know, it gets crazy in here. That's all right. On send behalf of Randy send Rose the Randy. Bob Gibson, I'm Richard Stray. Saying so long from your friends here at the SoCal Prep Report. Good night, everybody.